This is John Stevens for Lower Great Lakes Fishing Channel. I'm uh, following through part two of the filleting walleye. This is the actual filleting of the fish in question, and we will be filleting two examples. Here you go. We have two walleye here. The sizes are 17 and 19 inch. And they're 17 inch change and 19 inch change. They're monsters, but you know, they'll get some decent plays as example fish. Yeah, you know, it was a real bright day. The walleye sunk as soon as we uh, started to fish, so we really didn't get any action, so to speak of, except for from first light. And uh, we were targeting them, and uh, we were seeing good marks, but then after the sun came up, the marks, each pass, got lower and lower in the water and closer and closer to the bottom until they finally didn't show. But in any event, you take your shape and the and blade. You pull up a fin like I did here, the fin right at the base of the gill plate, and you make a cut between that fin and the uh, fin right down there. And once you do that, you take it back to the backbone. And upon doing that, you ride that backbone back to cut the skin slightly, following the backbone very, very slightly, as close to the backbone as you can go. You may want to wipe those scales off because you don't want your blade to be consumed with scales. Now what I like to do is to start both sides. This is just my way, I'm not saying it's the only way. But when I start both sides, I peel this bad boy back a bit and hit the rib cage the whole way down. I separate that meat, I open it up on the side so I can see what I'm looking at, you know what I mean? Hit the Y bone. So yeah, okay. Now I see what I look at. And you take it right about to where the anus would be, and you pull this along the side, back to the tail, careful, don't cut that last piece, because you need that to hold to the body when you flip it and skin. And the inside result should be a nice cut fillet. Now, I start the other side the same way. Pull up, side fin. There is a scientific name for it. I'm not a marine biologist. Get your knife under that side fin, cut. Ride that backbone down. And again, I'm on a head cam because, you know, I only have two hands and they're both occupied. Push through and ride that backbone straight down. Careful you don't hit that backbone too close like I just did. Straight down to the base of the tail. Now, again, you will cut close to the backbone to separate the flesh from the rib cage from the rest of the back. There you go. You're holding it. You're holding it good. You're holding it good. And you'll just take this one the whole way off. So then when the whole way off, you'll straighten your back out because I'm a big boy. I'm six foot five, so my back hurts when I'm leaning over. It's a long lean down. You feel for a Y bone in here, and there is one, I assure you. And when you feel that Y bone, you take your knife in because nobody likes to eat a fish fry fillet with a Y bone, right? No. You take it back. And then you cut where it ends. Where's that Y bone in? I feel it. You say, yep. Mr. Y bone, you're right there. Okay, get rid of some of that belly meat there, because, you know, that's not any good. We'll turn that off. Okay. Put that down in the garbage. And then, with that said, you start to cut at the base of the tail into the fillet. And when you feel the skin hit the knife, because it doesn't want to cut through that skin. You see how you can see the skin there? Now when you hit the skin, turn her sideways and you ride that skin down and you ride the uh, skin of the fish down to separate the flesh of the fillet from the skin and this is where if you have a well sharpened knife it comes off hold on I gotta hold it better fairly easily see like that 
that well sharpened knife doesn't leave much meat on that skin and bada bing we got that meat of the uh, Y bone right out of there we pulled that bad boy out it's gone and you got a fillet now granted as you get bigger walleye you get nicer fillets but I've never tasted a bad one so even if it is just a 17 or 19 incher it's fine now, on this other side where we started the fillet like before we finished doing exactly what we did on the last side we peel it we take it down. I messed up a little bit there, but not too bad. I have a fin. I was obstructing that. I should pull apart. I hit the fin again. I cut those very close. There you go. Now again, you have the same piece of meat as before. Same problem with belly meat, right? You going to turn that away from your body so you don't pull your uh, knife into your body and your uh, hips and legs. Now pull that belly meat off if you can, right? As much as you can. Yeah, there it goes. I think I'll just cut it off at this point. Wipe the scales off of your knife feel for your Y line, which is right here, once again, and we'll have that come back there, okay, we got that Y line done, yes we do, and you cut it right down to the skin, you feel the skin, you turn it sideways, see how nice that turned out, and you ride that skin with your knife, and it's with a sharp knife. On a cold fish, it should separate. Basically like it did there. And if you're not sharp enough and you did a good enough job, you don't have anything left on that fillet. Again, the belly meat that I was trying to peel, didn't get rid of it. It's now cut off. And you pull out the zipper meat with the, uh, not the zipper meat, but the meat with the Y bone. And boom. There you go, another walleye fillet. Now it is advisable to have a garbage bag, but since I'm only doing two, I can get the bag later and just leave these carcasses on top of the cooler while I finish. So we start with the next walleye. Once again, doing the same thing. Cut right up under the fin at the base of the gills. Boom. Take it down to the backbone. Get around the anus area and start to gently ride that backbone down. Again, you want to open this up. This is very much a surgical procedure at this point. You want to have as much free as you can from that bone. I think we did a good job while still maintaining the form of the fish. So now we start on the other side. We got cut down uh, by the gill, between the gill and the fin, or behind the fin that's right behind the gill. My apologies. Been up since one in the morning. It's now about 5 p.m. 16 hours will do that to you. And uh, you take your knife. Down on the edge of the backbone, like I'm doing now. Okay, good. Now you go back. You make sure you get deeper penetration until you can feel that rib cage. Take that down. And now you've got it to where the anus would be, and you pull back. Okay, yep. Yeah. Not too bad. We're going to separate this one from the skin, or from the skeleton. We're going to judge the job we did. This is where having a board with a clip would have helped out a little bit, but that's currently misplaced and uh, just 
just not going to be feasible. Oop, that wasn't good. Yep, there we go. Cut the fish right there, still very nice fillet. Again, feeling for a Y bone. Got it. Got the last piece of it right there. Again, cutting down to the skin. And then turning it sideways and riding the skin. This one got butchered a bit in the belly. And you want to use the tip as much of your knife as you can. Because that's the one the sharper gets the best. And boom. Pulls it out. We pull that Y-bone meat out. And look at that. Really nice fly. Really nice fly. Okay, one more to do. One more to do and some rest for the weary. Cutting right down the side. Around that rib cage again on a bigger wall, you might get a little meat off that rib cage. This one's so small. I'm not really worried about it. You got a nice bone there. I can feel that wide bone, man. Ooh, I can feel it. Get that out of there. So there you go. Hold on there. And then I just take the knife, cut down to the base of the tail on the skin, turn it sideways. Once you hit the skin, remember use the sharp edge of your knife. Tip and just peel. And I get the action there of it being peeled. Again, not very much meat on the uh, skin itself. Yep. 